What's up, guys? Welcome back to My Plus One with Vinny Fastline. And Tony Sarandos. Fuck yeah, this is a podcast, if you haven't heard it already, where we bring on celebrity guests, and they bring somebody that they're comfortable with, close with, friend, daughter, husband, wife, uh, enemy, frenemy, co-worker, it doesn't matter. I'm so grateful you brought me. <laughs> Get out of here. That's, I feel like you guys are in all those categories. Uh, we have uh, guests today, uh, friends of mine, dear friends of mine. I've known for a while. I'm just happy to get you here in the first place. Seth Green and Claire Grant, everybody. Make some noise. <laughs> low budget. We got low budget stuff here. <laughs> I thought you were good at that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Dude, yeah, we don't even need here. to mention all the stuff you've done. Uh, you know, you've done so much cool shit. So you've boring. Been, People have computers. Yeah, look yeah. it up. Google it. <laughs> Google it. And Claire, too, you are also a star. You guys you guys also did a movie together, which was really cool. I got to go to the premiere with, which is fun. Uh, fun. Changeland. Yeah. How cool was that? That was, was awesome. Working together. Well, I, yeah, I love. I actually love working with Claire. Yeah? Yeah. She's you're just really saying that because she's at, here? No, she's really good at the things. So when you like get to do them together, it's kind of awesome. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. It's, yeah, I mean, to have a working relationship with somebody can be tough, but you know, and it's personal, you know, I don't know if I work with daily, I think we would kill each other. So that's, you got to get outside you of all of that. Yeah. Um, like we made a movie together and you know, I had to be like, Hey, you're going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another take. <laughs> yeah. She was like, okay, call action. And then I did. You you just uh, you continuously up the budget just so you could spend more time together in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna need a, another three hundred thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> We're not going home. I'm sorry. Why? Oh, Claire's still in the hot tub. She doesn't want to shoot today. <laughs> yeah, we've got incredible footage of her in the hot tub, though. Trust me, <laughs> this movie's a hit. <laughs> I fucking love that. Well, Tony doesn't know your story about you guys. Yeah, I already do. Not at so all. I want I want to know like how how this happened. How how'd you guys? Uh-huh. I cross paths and meet and have this beautiful um, life. We we met at a comic book store. I love um, that. Yes, but we it was very uh, like there. It wasn't like we met in a comic book store and fell in love. We. Oh my gosh, you're reading Deadpool. <laughs> like it wasn't. No, it wasn't that at all. Like yeah. uh, we were we were both there because it, it was Golden Apple Apple Comics, and they were moving from one location to another, and they had um, a big party. And uh, I like to take photographs as a hobby. So they asked me to come take photographs for them of the whole weekend event, the, the big thing. And like a had, grand reopening. Yeah, down it was the amazing. Block. They moved the whole. Yeah, they yes. had this giant red ribbon and Stan Lee cut it. And they're <laughs> all of those crazy people on Hollywood Boulevard. And let's say in, independently costumes, employed. Wonderfully imaginative yeah. people yeah. that smell great on Hollywood Boulevard <laughs> dressed in superhero costumes. Oh, was, <laughs> it Mel- was, was it Meltdown? What was the comic book store? Golden Apple. Golden Apple. Apple. Oh, Golden yeah. Apple. So yeah. it was all the like Hollywood Boulevard superstars mm-hmm. oh. hired for the day. Like even mm-hmm. that uh, Hollywood Boulevard Superman. I think it was yeah. an entire documentary. It was, a, it was actually a wow. great day. It was super Ooh. fun. Yeah, it was a ton um, of fun. But we met there. Was and he in the costume? No, no. Yeah, no. I was. Uh, he, yeah, Wolverine. the '89 Batman. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, ah, <laughs> you, you look like you stole your dad's uh, costume. <laughs> uh, no, but it was really funny. I was there, uh, signed a book. I made a comic book with a friend of mine called Freshman, and Claire came up with a camera. And she goes, "Hey, I'm gonna be taking a bunch of pictures of you guys. I just wanted you to know that I'm not a creep. I'm hired. They hired me to do it." And I was like, "Right on, cool, cool, cool." And that was literally. Wow. About it? Yeah. Maybe. And then well, make, like when you actually took pictures. I did. I took a bunch of pictures. Um, and and then that was like in, in in like November. And then the next summer we ran into each other at Comic Con, like <laughs> over and over and over again. Mm. Like um, in a friend's hotel room, like at a in a ho- like a hotel party, um, at several different events. We just had a ton of people in common. Yeah. We hadn't realized that we knew a lot of the same people and we were hanging out with all the same people at comic-con so we ended up just spending the whole weekend together and And it wasn't like romantic it was just like safe cool interested in the same stuff comic-con's like a really cool place to the vibes are just fucking awesome everybody's in a good mood like if you're meeting somebody i feel like that's the place it's a crazy weekend yeah i I used to go and it's 
that's too much for me now, but <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I usually yeah. go to the Furbo convention at this point. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Checks out. Everybody dress it. Was it? Is it the wait? It's Furby. Furby. <laughs> Furby. Yeah. Let's redo that one. Uh, <laughs> we can you've ever seen those Furbo? things, dude? Oh my god! Like yeah, my sister used to have one. It was terrifying. Will you dress up in the fucking cat costume. What are you Ooh. talking about? The Furby conventions where they all dress up like are you oh, talking you're talking about, about furry. Furry. Oh, is it furry? Furry yeah. are the little dolls with the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Furbies are yeah, an entire cake. Thing. Yeah. You, could, yeah. you could dress as a Furby I mean, to a furry convention. Fur- I like yeah. to double yeah. down. That's I why. Yeah. That's what I did. To you guys, there is an independent <laughs> subreddit just <laughs> for <laughs> sexualized Furbies. Ooh. It is? That's Who do you think made it? This guy right here. Yeah. What do you think all the money comes from, guys? He's the head moderator for that one. <laughs> for Baca 9000. Uh, our, our, our merch is uh, cat litter boxes, guys. Oh. <laughs> but like human size. Yeah, yeah, the big ones. Yeah. Oh, man. So it was Comic-Con. All right, cool. It's amazing. Yeah. So basically, you guys, you know, the world kept putting you guys in each other's paths. And, you know, yeah. 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 It's, Pretty awesome. Yeah, and then cool. his his uh, business partner and I were friends separately for a, a couple of years before I met Seth, and so when it, at some point months later, actually it was I actually know when because it was his it was his it was two days before his birthday, <laughs> um, and he just randomly called me out of, or texted me out of the blue, um, and had gotten my phone number from his his business partner. Ooh. I think my pitch was really simple. I was like, "Hey, y- y- you like to smoke weed, right?" <laughs> and she was like, "Fair enough, go on." And <laughs> yeah. I was like, "We want to come over and hang out and just like get some food and smoke some weed and That's- watch TV or some shit." And she was like, "I would, yeah." And it wasn't like, "Hey, let's fuck." It was more like, "I'm do you want to absolutely not interested in a relationship." Yeah. But I'm also lonely. <laughs> It'd be really cool to hang out with somebody that liked some of the same stuff that I did. And I also like to get high and eat hot pockets. So let's yeah, go. I you mean, go. it's, we, we, we ended up just being friends for a year, but basically like I went to his apartment <laughs> and never left. No. And you just moved in. No, I never moved in that apartment, but yeah. I definitely spent a lot of time there Good. until he realized that my apartment was close to his work. And then once he realized that my apartment was close to his work, oh my God. we never went back to his apartment again. <laughs> it took a, a couple of showers in that apartment. That was not a great, that was not a great apartment. <laughs> Only a couple. Though. I was glad when you moved. Yeah. <laughs> that place Me was, too. Yeah, it was a dangerous apartment. I had homeless <laughs> people set my building on fire. <laughs> Wow. It's not wow. even an exaggeration, right. guys. It's like that's actual. Really, that's even like the lightest part of that story, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's it's all true, though. Honestly, the sad truth behind this is this is kind of the current situation that I'm in. Oh, no. No. No, I'm sorry, buddy. No, I'm no, it's I tough, just, man. I like to get high and pretend like I'm homeless and light myself on fire. <laughs> oh. ah! Renter's insurance. That's man. a totally yeah. different. Yeah, it's different. Different yeah. situation. How long but, ago was it when this, when you guys, how many years ago? Like, well, that's like seven or eight, right? Yeah. When you first we, met? Seven years? No, no we, 2007 or... 2000. Mm. Okay, so... Yeah, I was going to say. It was February 2008 that you invited me over to your house, and oh. I think that we had met in 2006. Oh, wow. I'll put that... Cause 2006. We, we met in November 2006. Uh, wow, that's wild. But you isn't got, that crazy? You got, but we didn't start dating until... Christmas 2008. I feel like, the, yeah, because the, then nine, it's a strong all of 2009, it was on. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna marry this girl. Yeah, you knew. I yeah. was like, I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. <laughs> she's the nicest murderer ever because she's been plotting for like 20 years. She hasn't <laughs> done it. I know, right? Well, she's, she's, she's real patient. That's yeah. the. She's, just she's, she's disciplined, right Vinny. Exactly. Yeah. Discipline. Exactly. She wants to kill you with <laughs> stress. <laughs> mm. Slow My down. hair has started going gray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, touche. <laughs> That's wild. But you guys got married, what? Like. 10. 10 yeah. years ago? Yeah, no, no, 2010. in 2010. 2010. Oh, 2010. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's 13, come 13 years shit. next month. Yeah. Oh, come wow. on. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. the spooky anniversary. That's, con- oh, that's so great. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. When I met you guys, it was it was the duo. 
you guys were together. I don't know anything else but Seth and Claire. Like that's <laughs> all I know. I that's how it feels the same in a funny way. Like I'm sure there. I remember all the before times, and yet there were no before times. You know what I'm saying? I like wind up inserting her into memories. Mm. I was like, you remember, babe, that time that we had my 16th birthday? And she's like, no, no. This is actually true. He literally thinks all of his memories are with me. And I'm constantly going, that wasn't me. Oh, that wasn't shit. me. Some oh. other girl. That wasn't me. And I was like, that's not true. That's it's impossible. It's off, too, on friends of his. They all have inserted me in memories, too. And I'm like, oh, what's up with the it wasn't me, guys. You you remember you were at that Y two K party, and she's like, Mm-mm. no, mm. no, not that Y two K. Somebody no. else. <laughs> you remember? Yes, yeah, st- stocking all the shelves with cans back in the two K bunker. We did. We did. Yeah. We, we did met in two thousand six. We had a lot of canned goods at that party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nobody knew. I mean, we knew, but nobody knew. Yeah. yeah. I still think it's coming to Y2K. I'm just holding no. on. Those were the good years, man, when you had fear inside. And then you just. <laughs> I was excited. I wasn't scared of Y2K. I was so excited. I thought it was going to be fun. Yeah, I was four years old. I was ready old. for the chaos. I yeah. had no idea what was going on. I was four. What if your dad Holy was shit. just like shaking you like, boy, you don't understand what you're going to be dealing with. Yeah, no, I was four. Don't let the fear <laughs> take you, son. That's how you had such a growth spurt. You were stocking cans on the top exactly. shelf. Exactly. Right? I had to. I had to I, <laughs> someone had to do it. I'm taller because, than my, all my family members. Ah, oh, bless you, man. You are? Yeah, I am. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah congrats. Yeah, must have been feel a, good? Yeah, it must have been a recessive gene yeah. in all You of dig it in the outside world. Wait, so yeah. no one else yeah. is as tall as you? <laughs> nope. I, I got how, what's I got, the difference? Uh, I need to know. Uh, my sister is, I believe, either 5'3 or 5'4. Oh, no. Uh, That's an eye insult. My, eye eye. my dad is 5'8, I think, or 5'9. I, I mean, don't, you could say see, it on this the, podcast, well, the, but the we know it's is, like 5'7. I'm 6'2. I'm <laughs> So like That's yes. anyone who's yeah, like anyone who's like below my jawline, I just imagine they're all the same height. Like they could either be five seven or five <laughs> foot, and it's the I same. I feel thing. the same way. Anybody that's yeah. like oh, it so doesn't matter. Best. I'm hugging oh, their torso anyway. This. It's like the same. Yeah, I mean, when I hug anyone who's shorter than me, you know, my head's on top of their heads. It's yep. just like it's a comfort. it's a comfort thing. Do yeah. you when their eyes are like in proximity to your throat, like swallow real hard just to freak them out? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and also, how old me. were you when you got Go. taller than your dad? Um, when I got taller than my dad, I believe I was, uh, I must have been in like eighth grade or freshman wow. year of high school. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I how did he you take grew, it? I bet you grew like so many inches at once, didn't you? You probably had like yeah. a crazy late in life growth. Uh, I, I, all of my brothers are over six too. So I remember yeah. like, it was like all of a Tough. sudden they were just tall. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I amongst other things you know i played baseball for 13 years and uh i used to play catch with my dad all the time and they got to a point where uh, i was throwing the ball way too hard for my dad and he, and it, it happened once where he missed and the ball hit him in the face oh, no. and no. he was holding back his tears because it hit him right on the rim of his nose so his oh, eyes were watering Christ, yeah. and he goes son I can't play catch with you anymore. <laughs> he walked oh, away. Were there, was there ever so a time where you were just over to, over to, uh, powering him with your height that you started calling him son? <laughs> I, I patted him on the head after that. Like there, there. <laughs> that must have that must have quieted a lot of the potential. Like I, I, I could take you, old man. Like the, there yeah, would just no. be none of that. Yeah, I mean. It, there was that with my sister because she's uh-huh. two years older than me. So oh. she used to bully me around. Of and then uh, my mom yeah. would always warn her. She said, Tony's going to be bigger than you one day. Mm-hmm. You better watch it. Be nice mm-hmm. to him. And then one day I got bigger than her and she stopped messing with me. I had the same But there thing was that one sister. time. Yes. Right? There's there that was one. That I don't want to incriminate myself, but. I, you know, this was around when the movie 300 came out. So the Spartan <laughs> kick was a thing <laughs> and maybe I tested it on my sister uh, and she went yes. into the railing of our like, you know, stairs and she oh. didn't go over. Luckily. Oh shit. Oh, but no, it, you didn't karate it, kid her? No, it, she, <laughs> she, uh, it definitely Cobra scared Kai, the crap. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Kai. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it definitely scared the crap out of her though. So she didn't mess with me after that. Yeah. yeah. And she went crying to my mom and mom said, I told you so. No, Damn. Yeah. Do you guys ever fight where I, my sisters and I used to fight? We used to chase each other. And then when they chased me, I'd run to a chair and I'd do this windmill kick because oh they just God. keep coming at me. And I'd be like, yeah, get away. No, just when, when my sister face, was bigger than flailing. me, she would, she would do the move where she would uh, like pin me down from my shoulders, like put her knees into my shoulders. Uh, that's what I did to my brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And just like 
cheap shots like pulling hair or like trying to like spit on my face like just ugh. um this is too late for you to know but if you're ever in that situation again <laughs> what i discovered with my sister in the same position was that i could raise my knees at such a uh-huh. force that it like completely fucked her back up to the point and if i could like <laughs> monkey kick i could get like, ha, right in her head <laughs> yeah. just uh, enough to like yeah. buck her out of you know a yeah. three count kind yeah. of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all her weights on the front I, and I, you could just like throw top heavy. Her, yeah throw here's another her thing over. i did i used to waterboard my sisters about you yeah i got the swiss miss that's right oh. yeah that's right <laughs> Oh. That was me. Yeah, you Is don't take my Swiss Miss packets. Mouthful of powder. You get water. Do you pre wet the rat? Wet the rat. Oh yeah. Well, what am I, a serial killer? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, Vinny. This feels like your confession. <laughs> yeah. I bring him close to death. <laughs> <laughs> Did just drop him to the table first? Dude, we used to fight over the weirdest shit. We we used to steal. Uh, like we go get the lucky. You know the Lucky Charms boxes. We of were course. With the marshmallows. Like yeah. We used to pick mm-hmm. them out. We'd go pour the box out, and they'd be like. A fucking grain. And you go, what is this? this me and my sisters would pick out the, the marshmallows. And I was, yeah, I was try that with first. raisin bran. Why do you think I was so mad at my sister all the time? She would just pick out all the raisins? She would leave the raisins. Oh, dude, I would. That, <laughs> oh, that was me. I that's why I don't raisins, like raisins. That's the I only liked, good part of that cereal. Yeah. Mm. I mean, no, I hated no. the raisins, but I loved the, the yeah, brands part. Same, yeah. Really? That's, yeah. Well, you, I hated the raisins. Uh, corn flakes. But the brands seven o'clock were great, in the morning. and you can't get them in any other way. Yeah, and 7 o'clock in the morning. You just got a bowl full of raisins. Yeah, in the morning, the last thing you want is a mouthful of freeze-dried raisins, like milk. I don't know. I like the raisins. Oh, I hate raisins. You and my sister would get along, man. Maybe I'm a killer, man. Anyways, <laughs> we established that already. So, uh, what would be what would be your discipline? Like Dexter, all the serial killers have a protocol. If you're, what's your calling card? Yeah, how, what kind of people do you look for to murder? Oh, see, when I do it, I usually uh, what I like to do is I freeze, um, you know, icicles. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, I just I storm away in a chest. <laughs> good, good, good. And then it just melts away. No Perfect. DNA prints. Perfect. Right. Wow. right. There's going to be somebody that dies and they're going to come back at me and be like, you did it. The wound was uh, canonical and uh, pointy at the ends. (laughs) But uh, there doesn't seem to be a murder weapon. Mysteriously, no murder weapons has been found. No, but I would also have my own, like the comedian in me would also like leave a little joke, you know? Yeah. (laughs) Leave a little note like, knock, knock, who's there? Nobody, they're dead. Bye. And then just... (laughs) Uh, I'm sorry it's going too dark, guys. <laughs> it's it? not normal. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, back to yeah. you two. Because uh, I don't want to look like a crazy person, but... <laughs> well, that ship has sailed, buddy. Yeah, everything here we is are. incriminating here now. at this point. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, with so many random questions day to day, I don't know as much. Give but, it. like, do you guys have... You both have to have annoying tics. Like, I know some daily does some things, like, that drive me insane, but some <laughs> daily stuff that just drives you nuts. I... <sighs> You know, sometimes she's like real excited about something or has a very (laughs) sincere reaction to whatever and is not aware of the velocity with which she's speaking to me. And (laughs) sometimes it comes off more like an order than like a question, even if we've never discussed the thing. And usually I'm like, ah, babe, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And then she'll be like, she'll be like, well, okay, but let's still do the thing that I said. <laughs> I'm like, all right, we're, co- we're cool. That sounds pretty standard in a relationship. That's yeah, not too, absolutely. Yeah. It's not too bad. I don't think we have yeah. anything out of the ordinary. Like, it's not like. I don't know. Like, I know daily will put, for me, like, daily will put the toilet paper the other way so like it comes underneath instead of Ooh. over top oh so that's like, weird yeah you're living with a sociopath <laughs> yeah. that's what I said yeah. Yeah. am I crazy no I don't it, here's well, the thing they are, are but everyone there knows it is needs to be on top no yeah. no so there's two different schools of thought about this and the the only way to really be happy is to accept that this is what you prefer <laughs> and it's normal. not it's not so absolute do, as to you, be the what do you right annoy way. Me? How do you annoy me? You would know better than I would. This one. She has he has to have oh. ticks too. I literally stuff. never stop talking. Oh, that's it. That is it, <laughs> actually. That's the thing. That is that is what I it's the not it's the always talking. Really? Yeah. What do you say? So, are you like I have so much to say? 
You go, you're talking too much when you're talking. Too shut, too. Liter- shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. I'm trying to do, th- I'm doing things. I'm busy. <laughs> And then you just keep talking through it because you didn't hear. Sometimes I'm like, no, no, but you you didn't get it. Like the uh, you have to understand. Yeah, <laughs> that's not so yeah. bad. At least one listens a little bit because my uh, my girlfriend gets upset that I'm always so calm and like rational when mm. it comes to things because mm. she she's uh very passionate about like the things that she does and will get very overwhelmed with it and like uh-huh. vent to me about it. I'm like, well, yeah, you know, you you're probably stressed because you've only been focusing on this one thing for the past twelve days. And she's like, why are you so common? Why does that make sense? Oh, yeah. She, yeah she gets mad that what I say makes sense. I bet sure, she I'm thinks sure about it later things. though and knows. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Makes you guys a good couple. Yeah. yeah. I, I consider myself and she considers me the, the anchor in the relationship where like if she starts going crazy, I pull her back down to reality. You'll that's realize sweet. that's an incredible responsibility. Yeah. Because if m- ever she's out in the world and the wind is really <laughs> kicking, someone's got to reel those sails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, right. I saw the evil eye come over yeah. on the side. Like, which one are you talking about? What? No, not at all. But I'm always at the winches. Always at the winches. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case the wind comes kicking in. There's always somebody. Yeah, yeah. there's always got to be one. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, that's. My, I don't not not this about my girlfriend and I, but it's the same thing. We both are like the talking back and forth thing. So <laughs> it's just there is no silence. So I there's don't nobody the to silence. win. But are you are you like trying to one up? Are you trying to like yeah. get the funniest line, or are you just enjoying the fact that you can both repartee like that? Yeah, we just both are like have a little bit of selective hearing, and we both <laughs> we just both jibber jabber so much. Are we yeah. saying then, different things? Like <laughs> I'm saying that the two of you are like using your wits to banter and I feel like you're saying you're having separate conversations simultaneously. No, we'll both. Yeah. I don't know. It's mostly arguing. And no, no, okay. Okay. no, we just, she's funny though. So it's, it's kind of back and forth. You guys but, have been together a minute now. Yeah. It's a couple years now. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. Were but, you guys together through the whole pandemic? No, I met her after, after mm-hmm. yeah, she was, she was out here and uh, she was staying with her sister for the summer, came to a show at the Laugh Factory, and then just messaged me, and that was it. Uh huh. But yeah, maybe now it's been a it's been a minute, so it's That's good. Awesome, it's man. good. But we'll have we'll we'll have her on. It'll be we were gonna do an episode where it's me and our, him and his girlfriend and yeah. my girlfriend. Just so it would be like, and also, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, that's all, that's borderline confrontation. Well, my, my girlfriend and I are long distance. So next weekend she, I'm going oh. out to a wedding and we're meeting halfway and she's coming back for a few days. Oh, um, how far away is she? She's in Atlanta right now. She's uh-huh. uh, applying to law schools. So she's just waiting to hear back and then that's going to determine where she goes. But cool. a handful of them are out here, which is pretty exciting. And I don't know. I'm proud of her. She scored really well in her LSAT. So that's awesome. Yeah. awesome. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? We met this past September and then uh, we're basically talking and made it official in uh, February. That's so cool. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. yeah. It's, it's really I hard to meet people. with so, a job out yeah. here. Yeah. I hope it's so as well. Yeah. The, the distance is, uh, it's kind of beneficial. It has its plus sides just because in our early stages of our relationship, I mean, it's still early. Uh, it's allowed us to focus on our own careers and ourselves yeah. without the distractions of a relationship necessarily. Yeah. Um, so we have a really strong foundation, which is great because of that. But now we're at the point where we're like, all right, the foundation's great. This distance kind of sucks now. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, hopefully she'll be hearing back pretty soon for where she's going to end up for law school. Oh, good luck I just got there. a text from Allie saying she wanted to break up with you. Um, <laughs> I had a good run. <laughs> no. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> um, no, they're but, great together. Yeah, awesome. no, I think we should do that, Vinny. Mess with them? Have them on. Oh, yeah, we should actually yeah. do that. And then mess, then mess with them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, See what your relationship is. Did you see that uh, SNL sketch about the father son podcast? No. The whole gag is like, you can't talk to your son in real life, but when you get him in this podcast scenario, all of a sudden you're like really breaking down these critical moments in your life. That's what thank you, son, for opening up. So when when you were growing up, tell me how you know it's it's very. Oh shit, I've never seen it. That's It's very clever, yeah. That's recently? No, it's old. It's over a year ago. Okay. At least maybe two years ago. Oh shit, I like that. I've lost track of time. Yeah, this is still 2004, 23, 23, 23. Holy shit. Right. It's the, it's the Jordan year. 
Yeah, yeah, 2003. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, yeah. Well, really, you, really hope we can get a like a first African American president someday. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, uh, it's about time. It'll never happen. So tired of uh, warmongering in the Middle East. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's fun to watch. <laughs> it's fun to watch, watch Biden get lost 24 <laughs> seven. Yeah, we're, we're go over there and I'm here. It's like it's so tough, right? Like, there's you don't want to sandbag the guy but also God, it'd be awesome if there was any better <laughs> candidate like any nobody wants this job except you know people who like love power and yeah. exploit poor people <laughs> so yeah. I found it funny that no matter what Biden's talking about he somehow ends up at Pirates of the Caribbean oh. in his speeches <laughs> yeah oh. he's like you know the Pilates the pop, pop, the pop, the pop. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> he's <laughs> always like, there. Yeah, he somehow circles back to Pirates of the Caribbean. And he's not wrong. He's now listen, player. our military is comprised of some of the greatest, most steely-eyed <laughs> heroes like <laughs> Captain <laughs> Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Commander of the Black Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the combination. <laughs> the Davy Jones locker, not the one from the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> the Squid Man. <laughs> that's why I, I vote. pulled out. Yeah. I'm out of this. That's why I voted yeah. for him. Yeah, it's it's fun. Big fan. Me, of I voted for him out of like fear of any <laughs> alternative. Yeah, no, she, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. for sure. Well, anyways, uh, you two. As back to you guys. Uh, day to day, like, what do you guys do at night and stuff? When it, when you when you're done working, when you come home. Come on yeah. now. <laughs> we make dinner together every night. Um, who's those cooking? are the two. Those we are the two together. routines that we have. We'll we make. Who's the Who's the better chef? There's got to be no. One. We're no. We're both. We're both. We do. We do the dinner stuff yeah, together. I can follow. do specialty baking things that he can't do. Mm. You're um, a great baker. I am a good baker. So yeah. Who? I guess the question is who's head chef and who's sous chef. We <laughs> we, we both. Or just, do you alternate? Yeah. Uh, in the pandemic, we got a bunch of those meal kit mm. things that you just do all the prep work for right. and learn some very basic prep work like confident chopping or skinning or yeah. you know yeah. frying roast whatever whatever we like oh it only takes depending on the thickness of the chicken it's like three to five minutes per side you just you start right. to learn some shit where you're not ruining every meal yeah, yeah. and then over time we're we just have made that a, a habit so every morning unless one of us is doing something else we have coffee together and then uh Every night, unless one of us is doing something else, or unless we're both out with other people, we have dinner together. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Cook. I mean, I'm, I like to cook too, but I just, just don't do it as often. As do I. I. I try to cook most of my meals at home. Yeah. He's, a, he's a killer cook. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dude. Uh, I mean, my heritage, I'm like Greek and Italian. So we mm. have recipes oh. everywhere. And every time I try a new recipe, I call Vinny or one of my friends I'm like hey I just yeah. tried this come over and see if it's good it's, Ooh, the fuck, yes. it's my favorite thing that's about lucky. it oh that's God. very lucky of you I I'm came over you, just yesterday because he made meatballs and some pork Thai dish oh and I was just stop like, it yeah. Yeah. I grew up in what? a really Italian neighborhood in uh, Philadelphia and everybody's mom made stuff and it was yeah. just the fucking best like so go wait, over to somebody else's house. For Friendsgiving, I sent him home yeah. with like half of the meal that I made. I'm like, here's half a it turkey was, and a casserole and blah, blah, blah. And, oh. So good. Wait, wait, I th- wait, I thought you were from Scranton. Scranton? No. It was from, It was outside Philadelphia, Philly? yeah. It was in Philly? West Philadelphia. Oh, or just nice. across the bridge from the other guy who got sent to Beverly Hills. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. <laughs> All this time, I thought it was like Scranton. I don't know why. No. My you're mom thinking of, You're obsessed with Biden. Your mom is from Philly? My mom is from Philly. So you oh, really? spent time yeah. there? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. My mom's whole family is still, I mean, like, Italian Jersey. Guy. Yeah. It's just yeah. like. Philly, Jersey people. They're all my her whole sides over there. And they're all like, yeah, fucking bada bing. They're oh, all Vinny, just like, Vinny. Hey, Vinny. I literally <laughs> kill you in the trunk of my car. <laughs> I'm like, I, I believe that. Uh, but they're all so, jer- so like, you know, so yeah. Jersey. But it's so wild. I mean, I, I knew it was, your family's still in Philly? Yeah. Fuck yeah. What about you? Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. Right, right on. Yeah. I have, a, I have a lot of friends. Um, from Nashville oh, and yeah. uh, surrounding areas, and yeah, uh, yeah. I, 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 I love Tennessee. Yeah. yeah, I do too. Yeah, you know, yeah. not the politics, but every, no, I like no. the other parts. Yeah, it's yeah. the food's really good. Food's great. Yeah. Music's yeah. great. Yeah. It's so good, my God! Memphis has some of the best food ever. Yeah, you bring home that soul food. You can cook that stuff now. <sighs> uh, make, man, the desserts you you did hack the 
the oh, chess I am pie very and, good at the at the you know your typical Southern dessert stuff. Mm, mm, um, my but God. Memphis is real known for their barbecue, and I I yep. wouldn't even try to. No, nothing. No, but we'll go no, grab it. I'm when not going to try to make we'll, barbecue. We'll it will never. Up. It will never be what I want it to be. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm not going to try. I uh, my housewarming gift to myself when I moved in here was I bought a giant barrel smoker Ooh. that I have on like, my back patio. <laughs> what? It's legit. And yeah, I think the the best moment was I, I hit him up I'm like, hey, dude. I just tried making ribs for the first time. Come over and try them. They've been on the smoker for the past five hours. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> rib what part? kind of ribs? St. Louis style. Okay. Yeah. But what is the what was oh. what were they? Pork. Uh, or oh, oh beef uh, or? Beef. the mm, I've done both. Uh-huh. Um, I prefer pork ribs. Okay, uh, good. That was the correct yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my my uh, mom converted to Judaism uh, no, a little bit later. No, it's definitely the right answer. So she can't, she can't do pork. So when she was visiting mm. once, I, I made beef ribs for her and my right. stepdad. Yeah, and, beef uh, rib is like you're chewing into a dog. It's just like... Well, you, the, the thing is, with, like smoking it, you got to cook it longer so it'll get yeah. more tender. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot less meat to the bone for beef ribs. And the beef ribs are like, you know, the size of, freaking, mm-hmm. I don't know, they're, they're giant bones. It's not yeah. fun. Yeah. But they're still delicious. They're delicious, yeah. Mm. I still have not mastered the brisket, which I'm. I'm it's a hard one. I mean, it's I a, do it's, like brisket. It's a lot of meat to mess up too. Yeah, which sucks when you do mess it up because <laughs> you have like 13 pounds of like something that didn't turn out right. But it's a it's, it's a fun time. I, I love barbecue. Me too. It's I love food. food. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna bring out this. Uh, our sponsor today is uh, Big Ribs. Come on out. We just bring out fucking stacks of ribs. Oh my god! The large so barrel happy. smoker. Now available. <laughs> they do have those uh, greenies or whatever they're called now where you put like wood yeah, pellets the eggs. in. Yeah. The eggs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are yeah. legit. Anyways, we're just a bunch of fatties on the show. <laughs> hey, Lucky Charms and Ribs. What was I that episode used about? to be a fatty. Get it right. Yeah, now he's skinny as shit. Yeah, bravo, dude. man. That's Thank not you. easy. I've known a lot yeah. of people. Well, not a lot. I've known a handful of people that lost a lot of weight and it yeah. is such a fucking challenge. Yeah. Especially any dramatic volume of weight. So congrats Thank on Thank you. Man. It was a uh, yeah, it was crazy how fast it happened. I wasn't expecting to lose this much in the short amount of time as I did, but here we are, just stuck to the program and it's that it's a program. Yeah. yeah. Just I I tried all the different avenues of doing it and then uh, I got gastric sleeve surgery a year ago. Oh, so nice. you know, took out eighty percent of my stomach and uh here I am. Just Holy small cow. just smaller portion sizes. I maybe went to the gym once in the past year. Man, mm-hmm. how did that feel? Did, um, did you notice like an uh, like an alteration in your biology? It's uh yeah, I mean the first thing I noticed or anatomy, what, I guess. I guess the yeah the first thing that I noticed and other people noticed was my face. It I mean my I'll, after this I'll show you a before picture. Uh, but my face was just round before, and uh, within like the first month, like people saw like my jawline and my cheekbones again, wow. which is really cool. And yeah. then obviously my closet not fitting me anymore. Everything was just giant wow. on me. Um, yeah. But oh, it's, cool. it's been pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Sweet. Thank yeah. You. Now I'm taking his place. He just yeah. keeps cooking me food. And yeah. <laughs> his boy gave me. I can't remember who said it. I heard some like. I can't remember. Well, I should just give the quote. He said, uh, every time I see a skinny person, I think, well, they don't like food. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, <laughs> I relate it to don't trust a skinny chef. You know, oh, you see what yeah. I'm saying? This yeah. guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. Pick, this picking up getting, what you're putting down, right? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> now I gotta ask real quick. It's just this is more of a selfish question because um, I'm in that age range of growing up on you know Austin Powers, Family Guy, Robot oh. Chicken. Um, what like what, I mean you you've done so much in terms of production and movies whether it be you know creating things originally or acting in them or whatever it may be what would you say in like that that era of time like the Family Guy Robot Chicken uh, whatever year that was like what was your favorite thing to do that's really tough just because I love this so much yeah you know what I mean like yeah. I love performing I love getting a bunch of people together and putting on the show. That's like yeah. my fucking deal. So yeah. <laughs> whenever, whenever I get to do it, especially um, with a group of people who are really good at it and they're on purpose on a project that we can all be like, Hey, this isn't embarrassing, right? This is fucking cool. Right. All right. Well, and everybody starts to elevate each other. That's, 
that's it's what I'm here for. So awesome, yeah. I got the I got to do a bunch of really cool shit in a row because anything that works makes other people go, okay, well, I guess we'll trust this asshole. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you yeah. get a minute where you get access to stuff you couldn't do yeah. under different circumstances. So yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah, just I mean, like Robot Chicken was like a part of my entire life growing up because I was I was a Cartoon Network kid, so yeah. you know, Adult Swim would roll over with, yeah. after a certain time, and like it was the last thing I would watch before going to bed, whether it be like a new episode or a rerun or whatever. So yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah. What were your What were your Adult Swim shows? Um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, mine too. I loved yeah. it. Me yeah. Too. Um, Robot Chicken. I mean, what else was on Adult Swim at this point? It's I'm did you watch any of the? Did you get into like? Tom goes to the mayor or was that just a little before you to, like, did you watch before. awesome show space or ghost? Uh, space ghost? Yep. Yeah. Uh, C lab. No, was not Eric and Andre is comedy central, right? No, Eric, no, that, Eric that? Andre came on adult, That's swim. adult, adult yeah. swim, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Eric Andre. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Seminal. Tim yep. and Eric was around that time. Were Tim, you and Eric, Tim and Eric. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there's one other one. I'm totally. Metalopolis. Blanking. Yes. That's well, you know, Metalocalypse. You know. Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse. <laughs> yes. I turned it into a dinosaur. Yeah. I'd want to meet that. I'd watch dinosaur. that. Yeah. I, I just love that era of television. Me too. After, after, you know, that certain time went by, Cartoon Network went away. It also yeah, it's pretty out. sad. Yeah. yeah. Just you, best memories, falling asleep to whatever was playing. <laughs> I really, we, Senrash and I talk a lot about it, just what Lazo built there like what they were able to turn a punishment into and how much of an advertising juggernaut that entire platform was like it's it's gotten folded into uh hbo max like uh, adult swim is barely an app and some of the content is on you know uh hbo max but yeah. they're not they're making some new programming, but not with that same level of intention. Yeah. Like Lazo really wanted to be the spot that 13 to 49 year olds yeah. could come to and feel okay about not feeling okay. Yeah. 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 Do you, I mean, not to make too much about this, about too much about work, but just since we're on the conversation about that, do you feel like, are you, uh, are you more afraid for comedy as far as, you know, like what you're making now. I mean, obviously for me, it's like we're worried about being careful about offending people. Like because somebody like, will like come get you on stage. I'm less, I'm less concerned. I, no, you, you just like, but do you feel like, oh, you have to censor things now a little bit more than you used to? Or is it just like, fuck it, we're doing it? No, I, well, we've always been considerate of not making attack humor. And I've never really found stuff at someone else's expense very funny. You know, unless the joke is that this person's such a bad person, they're getting some version of a comeuppance. That's always hilarious. Yeah. But I'm not. Um, so as a result, you get new information about what is going to actively offend some person. And I don't think it's a mistake to stay away from those ideas. I'm not in the I'm, I'm not a provocateur. I'm not, you know, Andy Kaufman. I'm not trying to make the audience hate me. Yeah. So if somebody's like, hey, that joke hurt my feelings, I want to understand why. And I would like to consider myself evolved enough to say, you know, I don't know why I thought it was okay to make that joke then. All I know is I would never make it today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. all you can do. I, I, t I understand. I, I, I definitely feel like the more I've done comedy, though, the more, I, I mean, I take everything less seriously the longer I've been at it. Like, and I, and it, nothing off limits for me. I, I mean, I use it for everything. What do you mean off limits? In in my mind, it's, I don't know. You know, everyone uses humor differently and it's a core fundamental of who we are. So people use it as def defense mechanisms. When I lost my dad, like I made fucking dark do jokes about my dad. Like, and regular people wouldn't do that kind of shit. <laughs> but that's how I deal with it. Me too. Yeah. And I'm like, you know. In a certain company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people don't understand. But, but for me, there's no filter. I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'm telling it. And my dad was just as crazy as me. He also had a crazy, dark sense of humor. So, you know, like, we used to fuck with each other all the time. But I just feel like uh, I, when you don't take it too seriously, then it's 
then if you don't take it seriously, then it's not supposed to be offensive. But obviously, you have to learn how to be funny and tasteful. Like, yeah. that's a thing, right? It's a right. Yeah, you There's really a fine line. The <laughs> longer you do it, the better you get at it. But I definitely feel like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious in the whole, like, animation world. I, I always loved animation for the fact that they, I feel like animation can get away with a little bit more than a live person saying some shit. Definitely. And it's like, you know, it's just so cool that, I just still love that part where you can you could toe the line that nor, normal an actor would be like I don't want to say this you know uh, actors <laughs> say tell him all the time that they can't that they that voice like, actors yeah, like no, I can't yeah that I can't, can't do, do that. I can't, I can't say that I'm like cool 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 let's pitch on it what do you want to do instead do oh really yeah because we'll yeah. we're not try- again we're not trying to be like no you fucking saying the line it's never <laughs> yeah it's like oh yeah, shit no, okay cool well, that wasn't the joke we want to make let's uh, let's do this instead <laughs> oh wow you know what I mean yeah no I get that. That's I mean, I was just interested on your take on that, but anyway. I love I love actors. That's the thing. Like I really love actors. I think that makes me a, a good director because I'm excited to like get the actor to mm-hmm. have enough data. Yeah. <laughs> have enough, safe enough comfort yeah. and, and like safety that they can give me the fucking thing and I can get it on film or get it on tape. Oh well that's what that's what makes a good director. Making people feel comfortable and, and that's how they can be more vulnerable, I think. Yeah, only like all the years I spent being an actor and getting to those determinations for myself l- led me there, you know? Wow, yeah. that's really impressive, man. This is why I love the friendship that I have with you because you open up this world to me of like having these type of questions and conversations huh. with like comedians and like the, the comedy questions. Podcasts are saving the world. Well, it, it's cool because I'm, I'm an editor, so like I'm sitting behind a computer screen all day and I don't, get kind of like the personal scoops on this stuff. I'm the one who just stitches what people say together to make it work. Sure. You know, yeah, that can be a very, like I do work with job. It is the most. Yeah. Get, yeah. God, the editing can like, it's you know, doing sound editing too. Um, not so much. Yeah. Um, I, I'm been at happy Madison for the past, like oh. 10 years almost now. Ah, what a great company to yeah. be at. So yeah. they, they've been awesome. And I've, luckily been able to like come into my profession in the comedy world. Yeah. Um, so it's been pretty sweet, but, uh, I, I love having these like inside scoops of things worked on hustle yeah. and all the stuff, but oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But it's yeah. just a uh, comedy. I mean, uh, dude, editing and, and comedy, and comedy is like, yeah. holy timing. shit. So everything. Timing yeah. is fucking everything. But, I mean, it's, it's not my final stop. You know, I want to do directing eventually, but I think it's a really good stepping stone. And you know, they say every, you know, great editor makes a great director. I was, I was hoping yeah. you could I, also, uh, I was wondering if you could maybe direct this short. I wanted to shoot. It's where my sisters steal all the lucky charms, marshmallows, and I murder them. <laughs> ah, but, uh, you end of short. Them. Maybe I'll hand it's, that one off to a friend. It doesn't <laughs> sound like it has a succinct narrative. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's a little personal there. there. <laughs> well, it's not going to be, it's not going to enter a lot of festivals. It checks, <laughs> checks very few boxes. Uh, they're, they're the best. I'm just making yeah. jokes. But, uh, <laughs> hey, but do you ever, do you, I never asked you this. Do you have a favorite Family Guy episode? No, it's uh, it's a really fun thing. So, it's been a, it's been several years that uh, I'm literally not even required to read the scripts because it's a different kind of preparation than you would have as a performer on literally any other kind of wow. production. Just because it's been so long of a. Well, no. it's more. It's more. Bite there's size. a very. There's a very specific cadence and musicality to 90% of the jokes on Family Guy. So there isn't really an opportunity to innovate too much beyond your own character's interpretation of what needs to be this joke to hit just right. Like you talk about editing, comedy, the musicality, the pace of that show, like hitting hitting it up instead of going and doing up. Mm -hmm. Like it is a big fucking difference so a lot of times i just uh have no idea what i've done (laughs) people will be like you remember that episode with the thing i was like i don't even know what you're talking about and they'll like do the thing they're like you know you were like and i was like oh that sounds vaguely familiar (laughs) but i'll i'll wind up doing you know, 60 cues in a session oh, across seven crazy. different episodes. You just work that much. Sure, it all just like, blends together. Yeah, I forgot moment. I did that movie. De- I've definitely <laughs> run into plenty of people who were like, what? Uh-uh. Because, well, especially as a performer, you get very focused on your job 
Yeah. Everything else surrounding the thing is somebody else's problem. That's wild. Do you have a favorite thing he's done too? Like as far as some some shit. You haven't seen most of my work. You haven't? No. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I've seen everything he's made since we've been together, except for like one thing that he hasn't seen either. And how dare you? Um, <laughs> and then before we got together, I saw like uh I saw Italian Drop. Uh-huh. And the first two Austin uh-huh. Power movies, and I saw Buffy, but I didn't see like Can't Hardly Wait or uh, uh, anything else. Wow! So has it been and a conscious decision to not go back and watch those previous projects? No, no, no. I've well, I said maybe really get to know me before you watch <laughs> Party Monster. <this laughs> we literally just had the conversation about par- Party Monster a week ago. I was like, do you think it's time? Can I, do you think I could watch Party Monster? And he was like, I don't think you should watch Party Cause Monster. Because you can't, like, it's you're my, you're my, we're like married. You can't, you can't <laughs> unsee me in that role. And I really go for it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm committed in that. But if she sees it and it doesn't affect anything, then... That's a soulmate. <laughs> yeah. I think you'll actually love the movie, even though it's dark, because Mac's great in it. Everybody's, yeah, I want to see uh, Mac in it. We all I, worked really I, hard. I, he, everybody, I've seen pictures. I've seen, like, a meme of them dancing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I had a, a group of girlfriends sent me down after, like, we had been together for 10 years and forced me to watch Can't Hardly Wait. Is oh, that it? That's that the one. It, yeah. yeah, they forced me to watch that. It's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, that's where I know you from. That's right. Yeah. What a classic. Oh and my did God. you like it? Or are you like, Sad? no, no, it was great. It was great. He was adorable. I get it. I get it. People send me scenes too of, of things constantly. People are constantly just like sending me clips and more like old pictures all the time. Of all this random shit. Yeah. 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 Cause Seth isn't that active on the internet. I'm, I'm more active than he is. And a lot of people are just like, this is for Seth. Actually, I, somebody actually emailed me on Facebook, a behind the scenes pictures of me, picture of you from it that I don't think you've seen. That's amazing. I think I have. It's like me and and uh, and uh, isn't it us? Me and like Tim Curry. Yeah, and somebody else, and y'all are like in the back seat of a car, just chilling. But he's dressed as Pennywise. Sure. <laughs> what? And you're clearly not in character because mm. you're. It's just a yeah. Because every time I'm like you, I think we were we were in a van on the way to set or something. Something mm. like that. I'll check yeah. it out. See if I have. And then somebody who's dressed as Pennywise in the back. Well, the original, the, the original, Pennywise. Oh. I, I was uh, in the original it movie, the oh. ABC miniseries based mm. on the book, which I, I did oh. see. So I did see that before. Oh, oh what else have mm. I seen? I've seen. Mm. Oh, I saw my stepmother is an alien. <laughs> 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 but you did you did you watch some of her shit, too? Oh, yeah. Uh, like yeah. after like after you got together, you just sat and well, watch it anything, together. Y- uh, no, I saw Valerie by myself. Um, I saw the graves. I feel like I saw the graves you, with you, right? You went to, to a screening premiere. of the graves with me. Um, and uh, I got to and go you to, went the, to the premiere of Five Dollar Cover. Oh yeah, Five Dollar Cover was so fun because you guys all went to Sundance. It was like a big fucking thing. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. That was the first time we got photographed by paparazzi, and they were like. She's a lot taller than him. Are we cool with this? <laughs> yeah, Are really we cool with this, guys? Out. In the beginning, people were very put off by how much taller I was than him. Yeah, they were like, this heels is... on a press line with him, it is still like the number one thing people leave with. The They're like, why is she doing this to him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to have some confidence now. You know, you're like the... We're married <laughs> yeah. 13 years, guy. We we did it. Yeah. You know what's funny? <laughs> she is doesn't like if you're wearing heels now. before I met him. I made Seth her is the one who was like, shoes. you should wear heels. Yeah, how about a dress? Do you want to? You look good in a dress. Look Put at a these dress heels. On. Yeah. You should compliment this. That was with not me. Pre yeah. him. Yeah. And you and you were you were a model too. I was a model. Yeah, when I was younger, um, I hated it, but I did it, and I got to travel all over the world doing it. So it was great. You're you're a good experience too. Like great experience. being disciplined. Yeah. I think and you're just the hero for all the short kings out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were proof that like I'm a you big, guys will yeah. succeed. So, I mean, I'm so grateful you, for you. Well, I will. I will say I, that was a hack I got very very young. One, girls really just want you to pay attention and be confident. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, be confident, pay attention. 
It helps that we literally laugh all the time. Yeah, you guys have such a cool relationship, man. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm it's it's really it's. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm not biased. I just I really. That's like I said, you two together. It's always a together thing. Like, I just I can't imagine it without it. just a fun. That's how it should be, you know. Because yeah. you have a killer sense of humor too, and I do stand by. If you don't laugh with your partner, it just fuck it. It's yeah. not gonna last. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, It'll never I agree. last. Yeah, you Unless guys just get high and just person. fuck around all night. Maybe boring people need to be together, and maybe people who <laughs> laugh together need to be together. I don't know. Yeah. I think I would die in a relationship with someone. Actually, I have felt like I was dying in every relationship (laughs) that I was in with very serious people. Yeah. Now, look at you. It worked out. It worked out. And also, by the way, so random, Daly and I were just sitting there watching that Johnny uh, Johnny Cash movie. Walk the line. Oh, yeah. Walk the line. (laughs) You're like, Claire! (laughs) We love it. You want to find somebody in a crowd, put her in the crowd. Stop it. Yes. Your, eyes, your eyes just go straight to you. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we're not going to keep you guys much longer. I mean, you guys are just two of my favorite people. I fucking we love, love you too, I love Vinny. you both. We were talking about I it on the way here. The we were time. like, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Do we need to prep anything? We're just like, I don't care. No. I love Vinny. We're going. <laughs> you guys, seriously. Oh, that's amazing. This it's is, good to get to it, chat with you, man. Yeah, re- this has been great. Like, I, I remember... Around her face. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think when I show you the picture about, after yeah. this, it, it might snap a little bit more in your mind. You're like, well, because I was yeah. talking to your dad. We were talking about, I was, uh, I, I don't even think I'd shot white, but I was, I was talking about white horse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I totally remember that. And then we had a whole conversation about Carlin mm-hmm. talking yep. about day. Yeah. That was a great show. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Well, thank you so much no. for having us guys. This yeah. was really fun. Yeah. I just, you know, is Do you feel like anything you want to plug or cover? You're, you're mentioning? No, I think. I mean, I think that's it. We just kind of wanted a speed round of like lightning oh. questions. Okay, how about this? Speed any, <laughs> yeah, speed round of questions. <laughs> um, any any you embarrassing go. moments you can remember about each other, real quick? You have any embarrassing moments about her, or vice versa? Uh, I always love these. Uh, <laughs> or funny, or funny yeah. stories. So like, what's the? I don't know. I feel like there's so many, so many ridiculous bar- things that happen. I should have a better. Quiver full. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You know, she can burp louder than anyone I've met. Yes, she can. Yeah. And they come out like whenever they come out. And now (laughs) she's been encouraged enough (laughs) by people who appreciate it that she'll solicit it in a public place or a crowd. And the thing is, there's always like several people who are like, what? (laughs) What's that Barney from The Simpsons? <laughs> and then there's always like somebody else in the far corner who's like, oh, yeah. fucking incredible. <laughs> God damn. I need it. Your number. <laughs> it is. It is impressive because we'll be at Mafia, which will be co- completely quiet as fuck. There'll be 30 of us. You could hear people breathe and then we'll just hear, eh. and we're like, that was Claire. <laughs> it's the most earth rumbling. Well, it usually is followed up with, oh, Seth. <laughs> Immediately throws you under. That's funny. This is the guy who introduced me to Mafia, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. It really is fun. It's like, fun if you life. have people that know how to not take it seriously or yeah. personally. Yeah. Man, people people take it personally. Too much. There was, one, <laughs> there was one game we played where Claire was like really coming at somebody. She was convinced that they were Mafia. And then at the end of the game, she was like, hey, I'm sorry. And she was Mafia. And at uh, the end of it, she was like, hey, I'm sorry about that. And like, she was like, oh, that's, we're cool. Oh, yeah, cool. I've definitely had people oh. not like me at the end of games. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that game gets a little heated sometimes. People take it serious. Yeah, That's and a if strategy. you really get yeah. someone, if you like you're if you like super lie to someone and they're <laughs> they they feel hurt, they just really feel they sometimes yeah. people can't shake that. Yeah, you mm. feel so deceived. Yeah, there was some times when I was upset with Daily because we played like I don't know, were you there? Were you there like uh maybe it was six months ago or something where I got, she, she was mafia like every time and then killed me Yes, out the gate. Yes. So now I'm sitting eating chips like this <laughs> watching for like three hours. <laughs> Car ride home is just like uh, this. <laughs> it's just, uh, so we try not to, but I'm just like, yeah. just let me play. My whole oh. thing, especially with game nights is I just go, I'll remember that. I remember that one yeah. day. Yeah. Now one, I know that about you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I'm a big uh, Settlers of Catan guy. Oh, Yo, oh, for yeah. real. Yeah. Hey, do you, have you played Starfarers? Starfarers? <laughs> no, I have not. 
Is and it, you're sleeping you, on. You're sleeping, sleeping on. Okay. Yeah. yeah this I, is I just the got best. In, What is it? It's, an it's iterate- the space version of, of Settlers oh, of Catan, no, and it's superior to regular Catan. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. It makes better use of the seven penalty. It does yeah. a lot of things that it, are just more collaborative. Nice. Yeah, it's it, really it turns fun. it into Plus a game space, that's a lot man. of fun yeah. Yeah. and still competitive without being murdery. Mm. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a big, I'm like, <laughs> tabletop game guy. Oh, us too. We love it. Yeah. yeah. I do game nights, like, every Sunday with my friends. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Our, oh, our thing fun. that we've been doing right now is uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah, yeah. we love Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. And Are you playing a particular... I'm, uh, I'm the DM. We can't get started on this whole. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm the guy who's running it. I'm the DM. You're DMing. Oh, that's yeah. Are you great. doing like homebrew stuff? Invite us to your one on one, man. We should. All we got lots of shit we'll, to talk about. We'll connect after this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the Catan things are jam. He's got the 3D set. He's got yeah. the pop up one. And, and, we uh, play Catan. We love it. Caught, yeah. We love it. I want to try the new one. I'll it's play the new so yeah. space, yeah. space one. Starfarers. It's really good. Yeah. In my yeah. game closet, I have a a backpack in there. That's like a giant tower that has every single like expansion pack in it like this feels like we live in yeah. that same world i'm happy amazing. for you amazing yeah, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll make we'll make it happen we'll yeah make it happen. yeah we're just gamers that's it it's get a yeah. get a ttrpg night go and do a my proper mafia night absolutely cool. yeah, yeah. we'll it. we'll find someone for you to murder Vinny. thank you thank you an yeah. appropriate hollywood sacrifice yes 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 perfect, perfect. <laughs> well you guys if you have anything you want to plug or anything yeah, any upcoming projects, coming up, projects coming up or anything claire seth anything Nah, it's yeah. not like we're good. We'll do press. Yeah, press for that shit. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There's about three. We listeners. love you. <laughs> no. Yeah, you guys. I love you both so much. Love you back. Buddy. I seriously do. Thank you guys for coming. You guys are great to hang out. Man. Yeah, you great to hang out as well. You. Nice to meet you. you. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for tuning cool. in. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. See ya. <laughs> That's fun. Wow, I can't believe we didn't fact check any of that. <laughs> <laughs>